uh, all federal employees uh, are held accountable by paying taxes by the code of ethics for uh, what they sign and, and uh, acknowledge for the executive branch. The code of ethics dictates that federal employees must, quote, satisfy in good faith their obligations as citizens, including all just financial obligations, especially those such as federal, state, and local taxes that are imposed by law. Certainly, the federal, uh, the president's uh, FY 2016 budget asked that the taxpayer spend some $275 billion to fund the executive branch payroll, and federal salaries now average over $75,000 per person. Yet, according to the IRS, more than 100,000 federal civilian employees owe more than $1 billion in unpaid federal income tax for 2013. In prior work, the GAO has identified tens of thousands of federal employees and contractors with access to classified information that were delinquent in their taxes, including many of them who had uh, accrued tax debt following uh, the adjudication of their security clearance. Uh, the GAO also found thousands of federal contractors with substantial amounts of unpaid federal taxes. For example, in uh, the VA HHS uh, contract for healthcare related services, a contractor was paid over $100,000 in federal funds, and the contractor had an unpaid tax debt of over $18 million. At the same time, owners uh, were buying multi million dollar properties and luxury vehicles, but not paying their payroll taxes. Uh, employees and contractors who do not pay play by the rules. Uh, who uh, consciously ignore the channels and processes that are in place to fulfill their tax obligation must be held accountable. Uh, we, this particular hearing is to address those particular issues. We look forward to hearing from our witnesses in terms of your potential ideas and solutions or ramifications. And so we uh, welcome you here today. We thank you so much. Uh, Chairman Chaffetz will be soon introducing or reintroducing uh, some legislative reform that is aimed at addressing uh, the tax delinquent federal employees and contractors, including those who have access to national security information.